Hi friends, Dr. Lisa here, physical therapist and osteoporosis exercise specialist. And today I wanna to talk about coughing and sneezing if you have severe osteoporosis or if you've had a fracture and you're worried about fracturing if you cough or sneeze. And there are definitely safer ways to do it than others. And so hopefully we can try to prevent a fracture from occurring for those who are really vulnerable. So in a typical cough, we're often, <coughs> So we're getting into this flexed posture with this forceful abdominal contraction that's very much like a sit up or crunch just in a seated fashion. And this <coughs> high velocity cough when we're coming into flexion can often place a lot of unnecessary stress on these thoracic vertebra as we're coming forward. So it's a better idea if we can to maintain as upright as possible. And often hugging a pillow can help give you that squeeze that you need without bending forward. So squeeze the pillow <coughs> instead of flexing forward. And that can be a safer position for your spine if you need to cough. Similarly with a sneeze, which is again a very high velocity, forceful movement that we often will shield other people around us and sneeze into this position. You need to try to get to an area as quickly as you're able so where you can let the sneeze go and keep your body achoo, upright as you're sneezing versus achoo, where we're flexing forward. So the main point here is try to avoid that forceful flexing forward of the spine with a cough or a sneeze whenever possible, especially if you have very severe advanced osteoporosis and if you've already had a spinal fragility fracture. And I hope you found this information helpful. If you want more tips like this, please follow my YouTube channel where I give safe exercise instruction and tips and tricks on how to protect yourself if you have low bone mass or osteoporosis. Thanks for watching.